everyone. This is Dr. Helen Sue from Hella Mental Health. And today I want to talk about pet grief, uh, the loss or the sadness we feel after losing an annual animal companion or a pet. Why is it important to talk about? Well, it is a sort of disenfranchised grief. And that means it's a kind of loss that often people around us might invalidate and not understand, right? Especially if they don't themselves have a relationship for many years or a very close one to their animals, that not everybody has that experience. But people may say things that are super insensitive, um, like, well, it's just a dog, or why don't you just buy another parrot? Um, you can just go get another cat. And not really allowing you to feel like, hey, this is a really big loss or change in my life. Why are we so close to our animals? It can actually feel different um, than losing a person. And different doesn't mean better or worse. It doesn't mean that we don't love the people in our lives, but we might feel the loss differently. For example, your pets depend on you in a way that most other people in our lives maybe don't, right? We don't necessarily, once you're an adult, see your parent or your sibling every day, but you probably do have to feed and care and walk for your pet every day. You might sleep with your animal every single day. Um, and so when you lose that, you feel this big gap in your daily life. It's really noticeable. Oh, he's not here to greet me when I come home. Oh, they're not here to be fed at the end of the day or not ending or starting the day with a walk. So there's definitely noticing that big change in your daily life. And sometimes we feel guilt and loss because they were so dependent on us. We spent so much time together and we feel so responsible for their health and their care that maybe there's nothing we could have done if they got sick or they had an accident, but it feels really, really hard. Um, and our animals spend a lot of time with us also through our life stages. So potentially what it feels like to lose like your childhood dog, um, the animal that's been with you through multiple stages in life. There's a grief about all those memories and stages too, that many times maybe you've had this dog since you were both like a puppy and a child, and you have felt this presence steady through all these years um, in your adulthood. There's a big grief about losing a companion animal that has experienced all those things with you and accepted and loved you and been happy to see you all through those stages, right? So understanding that we do feel the loss of a pet or an animal really strongly, even sometimes if we knew that they were old um, and we know like, yes, it is an animal. And I guess I knew all along that unless it was a parrot or a tortoise, I would probably outlive it and this day would come. It's still really, really hard. And I hope you feel that you can honor that feeling. So the what, how do you cope with pet loss? I do hope you find understanding supports, people who actually know what it means to have a real bond with an animal that it may not be a verbal bond, but it's a very strong and caring one. There are support spaces for people who do understand pet grief, and I'll put some links in the video that you could check out. It is important to have some kind of memorial or activity that might help you feel better. The big task of grieving as you slowly heal is to eventually be able to enjoy some of the happy memories um, with less of the longing and the hurt. So that might mean I am going to create a memorial stone and keep it with me, or I'm gonna have something in my garden that always reminds me of how much I cherished our time together, or we're gonna go for a walk in what was our favorite place. Um, and I'm gonna keep a picture here because maybe right now it makes you a little bit sad, but hopefully eventually will remind you of like, I'm really happy that we had this time together and that I did have this really great pet. Um, so keepsakes, there's a reason that people make them and hold them. And it's a way of reminding ourselves that love and relationships do live on, even if somebody or some creature has transitioned to whatever is the next stage of life, right? But finding these places to channel your emotions, to not feel like you have to hide them, 
If anything, most of us benefit from being able to talk about who or what that we miss, um, share some of the good memories, process some of the longing and know that it's normal, that caring about anything brings, um, unfortunately, the possibility of loss but most of us choose to accept that anyway, and it's worth it in the long run, even though it's very, very hard when you're going through grief. So know that you are not alone if you're experiencing pet grief. Even if somebody else says, oh, it's just an animal, it's a lot more than that. When we have a connection with the creature and we have love and they're a part of our life and we take care of them and you take your time you know, find your supportive spaces. I hope you have your keepsakes and your remembrances to keep them close to you. And know that, you know, what you had was an irreplaceable experience and it's up to you to handle it the way you want. So don't feel pressured into feeling like you need to immediately bring a new pet into your life. Maybe you will and that will help you feel like there's a place to share this love that you have. Or maybe you're not ready yet Maybe you don't ever want to be ready yet. There's no wrong or right way to do this. The important thing is to know that if you're experiencing pet grief and loss right now, it is a very normal, real thing. Don't let anybody tell you that you're overreacting just because you're lost. Your grief is not about a human being. That sometimes our animals are much more accepting and good to us and close to us for longer than some human beings. So honor your pet grief honor your care and the relationship and take care of yourself. You're not alone um, and create a new space in your life for healing. It will take time and I don't think you'll ever forget about your pet and your loss, but hopefully you'll be able to have more and more of that healing and enjoy the good memories um, as you're healing and getting used to not having the same kind of relationship and companion anymore. Take good care of yourselves. You can put it in the comments. If you're thinking about a pet that you've lost over the years, I've certainly got some that are still very much a part of my heart and my family's heart. So do you know about pet grief and what helped you cope? Because there are many of us out there who live with that. Take good care, take care of your mental health and honor your grief. Mm -hmm.